morning, everybody, and welcome back to OPC Kids Ministry. We are spending the next few months trying to find out the answer to this question. How do I live God's way? But before we do that, let's take a look at our memory verse for this series. You can find it in Colossians 3, verse 12. Since God has chose you to be the holy people that he loves, you must clothe yourselves with tender-hearted mercy, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Good job. Now today we're going to discover we show patience. So let's talk about things that are hard to wait for, okay? I have a really hard wait time waiting for my marks to come back from an assignment or a test, okay? I know it's weird, but I find that I worry that I did things wrong and I can't stop worrying until I see what the mark is. And usually I've done well. And then I've just wasted my time worrying, right? So tell me, what's really hard for you to wait for? Now, waiting can be hard, but we show patience. And the Bible is full of stories. And there is a story about how we can learn to be patient. So let's prepare our hearts for worship right now. Let's pray. Dear God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, open our hearts and minds to hear and feel each word that you intend for us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're learning that we show patience. What foods can you not wait to eat again? I know something really yummy. Made homemade cookies. Let's see how Lena handles this, the wait. Check your emails for the link to the video, Waiting for Cookies. Today we're going to learn about people who had to be very, very patient. And we're going to see what they teach us about how we show patience, okay? So to understand just how long they had to wait, we have to back this up a bit. The Bible is broken up in two sections. Do you know which two sections? That's right, there's the Old Testament and the New Testament. Now the Old Testament is about life before Jesus came to earth. And in the Old Testament, there were a lot of prophets, okay? They were God's messengers. Who, who told about Jesus, known as the Messiah. But there's this big gap of time in between the Old Testament and the New Testament. It's about 400 years. And God didn't speak through prophets, but the Messiah hadn't come yet either. So for 400 years, people were waiting. The promised Messiah seemed so far away that the people could hardly see it. Talk about needing to be patient. Now, near the end of this big gap, there was a man named Simeon, and God promised that Simeon would meet the Messiah. God was so excited, sorry, Simeon was so excited, the long-awaited promise was almost here. But then as Simeon got older and older and older, and he waited and waited and waited, and he was an example of how we show patience. Okay. The Messiah was getting closer. Things were getting clearer, but would Simeon live long enough? Listen to this. At that time, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. He was righteous and devout and was eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him and had revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. That day, the Spirit led him to the temple. So when Mary and Joseph came to present the baby Jesus to the Lord, as the law required. When Simeon saw Jesus, he knew the time had come. The long awaited Messiah was here. Hope was here. Listen to this. Simeon was there. He took the child in his arms and he praised God saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace as you have promised. I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. He is a light to reveal God to the nation and he is the glory of your people Israel. Now, Simeon wasn't the only one who had to show patience, okay? The whole nation of Israel had been waiting for the Messiah. So when a prophet named Anna, who lived in the temple, heard Simeon's praise, well, she went to see what happened. Let's see how she responded. She came along just as Simeon was talking to Mary and Joseph, and she began praising God. She talked about the child to everyone who had been waiting expectantly for God to rescue Jerusalem. So like Simeon, Anna had been patient 
and she got to meet Jesus. Not only that, but she told everyone who had been waiting patiently, the Messiah is here, the wait is over. So let's say that to each other. One, two, three. The wait is over. I wonder what it would be like to be one of the so many people waiting for something. See, we show patience. Simeon and Anna were part of a group that waited centuries for the Messiah. Some people never got the chance to meet him. But when he came, Jesus was worth the wait. He came for everyone. So think about something you're waiting for right now. When we're waiting, sometimes it can feel like centuries. But we show patience. We trust that God's timing is perfect and his plan will work out. We're learning that we show patience. When we're waiting for something exciting, sometimes all we can do is think about what we're waiting for, but that can make us feel impatient. Let's see what the Bible says about being patient. Listen to this. But if we look forward to something we don't yet have, we must wait patiently and confidently. Romans chapter 8, verse 25. Let's learn three things that you can do to distract yourself while you're waiting. Doing these things will make it seem like time goes by faster. These ideas can help you wait patiently. All right, so first, you could sing a song. Let's sing a song together. All right, three, two, one. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Sometimes we're waiting in a place where we need to be quiet. Let's try singing the song more quietly, okay? All right, one, two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. And sometimes we need to be totally quiet, not even a whisper. Let's sing a song by just moving our mouth, but not letting any sound come out. Let the music play in your head. This time, choose any song you like. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. Good job. You just learned an awesome trick for how we show patience. And you can sing any song. Um, any song you like in your head when you need to wait. Another idea for what you can do to show patience is watch a movie. But how can we watch a movie without a screen? I'll show you. First, think of a story you know. It might be a book you like or it can be a true story from the Bible. Then close your eyes and picture the story happening. Let's practice with our Bible story. Close your eyes and listen. Simon was waiting in the church. Then Mary and Joseph came walking with their baby Jesus. When Simon saw Jesus, he got a big smile on his face. His eyes sparkled. He was so excited. Simon reached out to hold baby Jesus. Mary handed the baby to Simon. Then Simon praised God. He said, thank you, God, for keeping your promise that I would meet Jesus. Thank you that he's going to help all the people. He is a light to help everyone see you. Jesus' parents were very happy to hear what Simon said. They smiled as they took Jesus back to their arms. A woman named Anna was walking by when she heard the noise. She heard that Simon said and knew Jesus was the baby everyone had been waiting for. Then she went and told people about Jesus 
and that the baby they were waiting for had come. She told tall people. She told short people. She told old people. She told young people. She told women. She told men. Go ahead and open your eyes. You can do the same thing with any story. Just close your eyes and picture all the parts of the story happening. Maybe it's hard for you to show patience because you have a hard time sitting still. If that's the case, there's another idea you can try. Just try to balance one foot for as long as you can. When you fall, balance on another foot. Keep switching back and forth as long as you can and as long as you have to wait. Let's try it. Okay, one foot, try to balance. And if you fall, try with another foot. What do you think is the most fun? Singing a song in your head, watching a movie in your head, or balancing on one foot? So we show patience when we're wait, um, when waiting is hard. Try one or all of these ideas. Let's wrap this up in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for opportunity that you gave to us to gather together to learn today. Father, Lord, we praise you. We thank you. We give you adoration because you are our God. Father, Lord, we pray for the kids, oh Lord. Watch over them, watch over their family, and teach them your way in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, teach us how to be patient and we pray for the parents teach them how to be patient to cheat the to teach the kids in the way of the lord father lord we pray for the children give them patience in the name of jesus we ask for that spirit of patience because we cannot do it on our own father lord give us the spirit of patience in the mighty name of jesus thank you heavenly father for your presence in our midst today we appreciate you and in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And everybody say, Amen. Thank you for tuning in into Kids Ministry today. This week, remember, we show patience. And that is how we live God's way. God bless you and have a nice week ahead. We're discovering a brand new world as we dig a little deep.